Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Predicting the Future. Today's topic will also continue on Markov chain, but we're going to talk about another concept called time reversible Markov chain. Uh, so let's let's see what is time reversible. Uh, suppose we have a stationary Gordic Markov chain with transition probability Pij uh, and uh, stationary distribution uh, Pi. If we reverse the process, let's say we have x1, x2, x3, x, and x to xn. If we reverse the process, then that is, we are we are transitioning back backwards from xn to x1. Uh, so that's reverse Markov chain. And 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 if we do that, let's let's see what happens. So the probability of well, given xn plus one equal to j uh, of xn equal to i, we can write it. By the Bayes rules, uh, and then you see that by conditioning uh, the other way, we get this this uh, probability. So this is actually defines uh, another transition matrix Q, and but in order for this to be a, a Markov chain, we have to be sure that. This is uh, the current state. The XM only depends on XM plus one, but because the the Markov chain, the the, the normal of Markov chain for XM to XM plus one and so on, XM plus one only uh, is independent of any other states uh, other than XM. So, so but but independence is symmetric. So that so. Xm, Xm plus one is only depends on each other and doesn't depend on other states. So that symmetric of independence makes sure that Q is a, a Markov chain. So by if we if we expand this Q and and and, and the equation for for Q, we get a pi i times p i j from state i to uh, to i transition to the state j is equal to Study from state j and transition back to state i, so that that means that when um, that is the kind of flow from from i to j is equals to the kind of the ratio flow from j back to i. So that's what what the, um, what it means for reversible, but it's a different transition probability. Uh, one is p, one is q. But when P and Q are equal, that's, uh, if, if QJI is equal to uh, PIJ, then we call this uh, Markov chain uh, time-reversible Markov chain. So we have a single Markov chain uh, probability, and, and the flows from I to J uh, is equal to the flow from J to I with the same transition probability. So that's, that's time-reversible Markov chain. But uh, so so the time reversal Markov chain gives us ideas. So let's say we have uh, Markov chain P. We can kind of using this equation here to to find out the stationary di distribution pi. So that's one way of uh, very like computationally easy in in many cases that we can just use this time reversible equation to find out the stationary distribution. But in many cases, it, it, we we can't. Th there's no solution. So, the in many cases, the Markov chain is now time reversible. So, so this is not. So we know that. So we can see that this is not a, a sufficient condition. It's necessary for for time reversible time reversible Markov chain, but it's not a sufficient condition that we can just uh, use to to see that okay. If we if the if the Markov chain satisfies, uh, if 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 we can find this um, transition probability, we we can find um, we can we can be sure that this Markov chain is is uh, time reversible. Let's see why. So for example, we have uh, P, which is uh, time reversible time reversible Markov chain. Then we know that uh, that by the by the time definition of time reversible, we have that. Uh, for three states i, k, and j, i, j, k, then we have three equations here. So from i to j is equal to j to i. 
from k to j is equal to j to k, and from i to k is equal to k to i. So the first two equations tell us that if you, it's the first two equations here, if we move uh, around those terms, we, we get that pi i divided by pi k equals to the probability of transition from k to j times from j to i. And the other one is, is uh, from i to j times uh, from j to k. And so that's, that's, that's good. Um, but if you look at the last equation here, this equation, uh, we, we can also get another equation for, for pi i divided by pi k. And that will be pi i divided by pi, pi k is equal to p k i divided by p i k. So that means that this term here should equal to this term. And if we do that, if we combine these two, two equations, we'll get an a equation here. So that was uh, starting from state k, we go to the intermediate state j and state i and back to k is equal to the other way around, from state k to state i to state j and then back to state k. That means that if in order for this Markov range to be time, time reversible, um, then this condition must be satisfied. To set it so, so that means that for any uh, state loop, uh, for any state loop, for, let's say from uh, state i, go to i1, I go to i2, and so on to i to ik, and then go to state j, and then back to state i, then for this to be, uh, um, to be, a time reversible Markov chain, then we should have this equation satisfied. So the, the clock for any state loop, the clockwise uh, transition probability should equal to the counterclockwise uh, transition probability. And that's actually, um, so, so if, if we do that, then the, the limiting, so if we, if we if we see the first first n term, first k plus one terms, that's actually the transition probability from i to k in k plus one steps, and that because we are assuming that this this uh, uh, Markov chain is irreducible and uh, agoric, uh, and and this has a limiting distribution pi pi j, then this limit will go to its its uh, stationary distribution pi j. And similarly for uh, for the other side for for this this k plus one term, and that will converge to uh, pi i. So that so it, it concludes that uh, the 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 definition of time reversible Markov chain. So as long as uh, for any Markov chain, as long as this this condition satisfies for any for any um, state loop then it's a time-reversible Markov chain. That, that concludes our, our series where uh, for any irreducible, irreducible agotic Markov, Markov chain, agotic makes sure that we have a station, we have a limiting distribution exist. With a transition probability P, uh, it's time-reversible. This is time-reversible if and only if uh, the, the clockwise transition probability loop is equal to the counterclockwise transition probability loop for any state i, i plus 1, i plus 2, until another, uh, some, the, the state. So this is for any state. If that satisfies, then the Markov chain is time reversible. So that's it. That's what I want to talk about for today's time reversible, time reversible Markov chain. I hope you like it. Uh, Thank you, everyone.